How real estate agents determine the worth of a property. Hey everybody, it's Peter Mancini here from Penn Realty. One of the most common questions I get from clients is, how do you determine what the property's worth? It's a critical question, especially if you're buying or selling real estate in a competitive market like NYC. Today, I'm gonna to break that process down of how agents like me assess a property's value with insight from the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and the NAR, the National Association of Realtors. You ready to go on this, on this signature experience? Let's get it going. So, a competitive market analysis, a CMA. Let's start with one of the main tools we use to determine the property's value, the, compar the comparative market analysis, or CMA. According to NAR, the CMA looks at recently sold homes in the same area that are similar in size, style, and conditions to the one in question. We compare these comps to understand the market value of your home. For example, if three similar homes in your neighborhood recently sold for 800,000, wow, that gives us a strong indication of your property's worth. Number two, we look at local market trends. It's not only about the comps. Understanding the local market trends is absolutely crucial. The Wall Street Journal highlights how factors like rising interest rates, which we've been going through, and decreasing ones, inventory levels, and buyers determine can impact a property's value. If there's a high demand but low inventory, low inventory, prices tend to go up. On the flip side, if the market is saturated with homes for sale, prices drop. As your agent, I monitor these trends closely to make sure we price your property in line with the current market conditions. Three, property conditions and upgrades. The conditions of your property plays a monster role in, value, in its value. A property that has been well maintained and features recent upgrades, like a remodeled kitchen, new floor, can command a higher price in a similar home with those, with those, without those improvements. According to the NY Times, the return on investment, the ROI for home improvements can vary, but kitchens and bathrooms tend to offer the highest returns. I'll assess your property and factor in the conditions of the key areas to ensure that we're pricing it accurately. Location, location, location. Of course, we can't talk about property value without mentioning location. It's often the most significant factor in determining what it's worth. NAR data shows that proximity to amenities like schools, public transportation, and shopping centers can significantly affect the home's value. The New York Times emphasizes that homes in prime locations, such as those with city views or near cultural hubs, can fetch premiums, sometimes as much as 10 to 20% more. So whether your home is in a trendy neighborhood or a quiet suburb, location plays a major role in its evaluation. Number five, you ready for this one? Economic and zoning factors. Now, beyond local market trends and location, economic conditions and zoning laws also play an influence on a property's value. According to the Wall Street Journal, border economic factors like job growth, interest rates, and inflation can push a price up or down. Meanwhile, zoning regulations determine what can be built in the surrounding area. If there are plans for a new commercial development nearby, that could increase your property's value, or in some cases, decrease them depending on the nature of the project. I keep track of all these factors to make sure you get a fair evaluation. And as you can see, determining a property's worth isn't a one-size-fits-all process, guys. It involves a combination of market data, property condition, location, and broader economic trends. By using tools like a CMA from Realist and Luxury Presence and keeping a close eye on the market, I ensure that we get your home priced competitively, whether you're looking to buy or you're looking to purchase. Now, if you have any questions about how much your property is worth, or you're ready to get started on buying or selling journey now, feel free 
to reach out to me at penrealty.net slash contact. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, or share this video with anyone who you know might be curious about their home's value. I'm Peter Mancini with Penn Realty. I'll see you next time, a signature experience.